This is the coastal town of San Juan in southern Leyte. Nearly a week after Typhoon Odette struck their place, the trail of destruction left by the typhoon is still visible in the area. Almost all houses in the coastal town were not spared. Most no longer have roofs on, while others were completely destroyed. Here we found 67-year-old Tatay boy sleeping on his chair. He and his family were traumatized after their house collapsed and was swept by the waves during the typhoon. And now, Tatay Boy says he is trying to save whatever's left of his home since he has no money to build a new house. Yung anak ko, yung apo, ah, yung apo ko, parang na ano, na trauma. Eh ngayon, eh, eh parang na, na, na ano na, na gumagagaling-galing na siya. Tapos yung asawa ko, yun ang panay, kuan, parang iba ang, minsan ang, ang salita. O, oh, ang Parang na, parang na trauma. Kasi panay ang iyak nila dito eh. eh. Daan na lang sa adasal kung saan makarating. Georgia's home shared the same fate as Tatay Boy's. But aside from now becoming homeless, Georgia's father Bonifacio remains missing. This as he opted to stay in his house even as the typhoon reached on. Kasi siya lang yung naiwan doon eh. Kasi sabi nung asawa ko, balikan mo na baka... Hindi na makalabas. Eh, paglabas ko, hinambas na ako ng hangin eh. Uh-huh. Hindi ko na nabalikan. Ginalugad na namin yung buong, buong baryo. Uh-huh. So, paano po ba yun? Uh, wala. <laughs> the local government says more than 3,600 household or almost 16,000 persons were affected by typhoon or death in 18 barangays. One person was injured. While George's father is among the three reported missing, Mang Bonifacio was a retired army serviceman of the 36th Infantry Battalion. So George appeals to his father's comrades in the military for help. Ah, uh, nananawagan ako sa dating batalyon ng tatay ko sa 36th Infantry Battalion. Sana marinig niyo yung panawagan ko. Ah, uh, mihingi ako ng tulong sa inyo sa nangyari sa tatay ko. There's still no electricity in San Juan, so residents are charging their devices through the town's generator set. While smart cellular signal returned on Tuesday, Town Mayor Boy Mortera says that almost all residents had lost their homes. Uh, mga 90% ang ano talaga yung household na na totally da, na ano damage and talagang kulang pa, de ba? Nakikita niyo yung ano? So hindi basta basta ito kung Manual lang, so we need equipment. Equipment, equipment like backhoe, loader to clean up this debris. So, in that manner, para talagang ano, ma- mabilis na dislocated na mga families, mga nawala talaga ng bahay. So we need some building materials. We need uh, help from outside. Meanwhile, food supply remains an issue in San Juan. That's why the LGU has already butchered pigs to distribute to residents in various barangays. But Motera says this is still not enough since only Tacloban has sent help their way. Banks and remittance centers are still closed, so they appeal for in-kind donations and aid. I have appeal to all of aside from our national government, because I have seen that the NGOs, if they want uh, tumulong, lalo na doon sa mga corporate uh, firms natin. Uh, sana po matulungan itong bayan namin, San Juan Kabalian. Nakikita niyo naman yung mga uh, catastrophe that, uh, that hit this ano, place. Anong laki, malaki. In my entire life, Ngayon lang ako nakakita, aside from Yolanda, no? ngayon ko lang nakita ito yung devastation at grabe. So, we cannot do it. I think we need help. And I'm sure we need very badly yung tulong ng iba. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News.